Hi everybody, it's Judy here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to rearrange my plant wall. So I've kind of just been adding plants in and then moving them around every so often. But today I feel like I want a change, a proper change. And I actually do need to clean the shelves too, like dust them off and all that. So what I'm gonna be doing in today's video is I'm gonna be pulling all the plants off the shelves. I'm probably just gonna leave the hanging ones up the top there, but I'm gonna be pulling all these plants out. I'm gonna be cleaning down the shelves and then I'm going to put them back on the shelf and style them kind of differently. Also now we're coming into winter I feel like a lot of these plants that are I feel like some of these plants aren't really getting the light and the airflow that they need so pulling them out will also give me a chance to check them over see if they're starting to suffer see if they're showing any signs of not really getting what they need and checking and just checking them over for pests. So a lot of this process, I'm probably gonna do a lot of it like in a time-lapse fashion. And if I find anything to talk about, then I'll talk about it <laughs> with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just something that I really needed to get done today. And I thought I'd make a video about it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, if you were wondering about these shelves and where I got them from, I actually got them from Catch of the Day and I will leave them linked in the description box down below. These are a four tier shelf, but they're also available in a five tier and I'll leave those shelves linked down below as well. If you want to see the video of me actually putting to get of me actually putting them together and styling them from the very initial start before I even had a plant shelf here, then I'm also gonna leave that video linked down below if you wanted to see it. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope it's a little bit, you know, entertaining to watch, if anything else. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get straight into it. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'm gonna <laughs> jump to rearranging my whole entire plant shelf. Okay, so this is what we're currently working with, or I'm currently working with. These are the shelves with all the plants taken off. I'm gonna go over with a vacuum and some disinfectant spray and wipe down all the shelves. Now, I think I might have had like an, a spider egg hatch somewhere in my house because I've had these tiny little black spiders. Can you see them there? I've had those appearing absolutely everywhere and I don't know if I should leave them and just let them like eat pests from my plants or if I'm gonna regret that decision later on when I find black spiders all over my house. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do, although I'll probably already have done what I'm gonna do by the time I finish this video. Anyway, here we go. Now I'm gonna clean all the shelves down and I'll show you all the plants. This is where I currently have them. <laughs> Just got them all there and there as well. Oh my, what a mess. Okay, let's clean it up. This is my favorite multi-purpose cleaner from Aldi. I think it's like $2.50 or $2.99 or something like that. It is green action, so earth friendly. Multi-purpose cleaner, it actually cuts through grease really, really well. This is just what I use to clean all my surfaces. Also, I've got this string of hearts still sitting here because I've got it connected or still propagating from the original plant there and it's air layering or soil propagating currently in this pot here. So this can, this is just gonna continue to live here for now. <laughs>
look what I just did. I pulled the stool away and the leaf was caught in it and it pulled it out of the pot. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is my expensive plant too. This is my Gloriosum. Oh my goodness. Looks like I'm gonna have a bit of potting to do later on. Hopefully it doesn't go into too much shock having pulled it out of the soil just like that. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that. I'm so upset with myself. This makes me really sad and really anxious right now because I don't want to lose this plant. <laughs> anyway, I brought my vacuum cleaner out to clean all the rest of the dirt on this floor. But now I can clean this, this mess of soil and dirt right here that I pulled out of the pot. figure out some different settings on my camera and I'm kind of struggling with it at the moment so just like if you noticed it sorry if you didn't notice it then let's just move on <laughs> now that I've cleaned these shelves and backing the floor and had a little mini breakdown because of my gloriosum that I destroyed poor thing I'm so sorry it's on the bench over there anyway now I'm gonna put plants back on the shelf and I'm gonna do my best to try and rearrange them in a way that is different than it was before Knowing me, I'm probably gonna put them all back in the same place that they came from. But I'm gonna try and make things different because I needed to kind of change it up a bit and make it look a little bit different. So that's what I'm gonna be doing now. And uh, just hope you guys enjoy this process with me. It's probably gonna be the boringest video out there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> back in different spots is proving to be a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I'm gravitating towards putting everything back from whence they came and that's not what I set out to do. I set out to move everything around in a different spot. Also, this gold stand I also bought off Catch of the Day, and I'll see if I can find a link for that and leave that in the description for you guys as well in case you are interested in checking it out. Now, I'm going to do the rest of these shelves. I want to make sure I'm putting lower light tolerant plants on the bottom shelf just to make sure that, you know, they're going to be okay. So, I'm going to start out with the bottom shelf and then work my way up, maybe. That's kind of the plan. I probably won't stick to it, so I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> keep calatheas and alocasias closer to that end of the shelf because that's where the window is, that's where the light is, as well as that's where the humidifier is. So here's an orifolia. I did take it from that spot in the shelf but it's going, it's just got to go back there because as much as I'd love to style things differently without any 
thought or care to the need of the plant itself. Unfortunately, that's not a luxury I have. If I want my plants to thrive, I'm still going to have to think about what they need and provide that to them. So this herbifolia is going back in the spot from where I got it from. now so I think I should wrap up this video. I hope you found it remotely interesting to watch. As I was rearranging all the plants I did try and think about what they need in terms of light and warmth and airflow and try to just arrange plants in levels of their tolerance. It is the winter time. Plants tend to struggle a little bit and look not as lush or happy or vibrant throughout the winter and like I know it might look like they are, which they are, like they're okay, they're alive, they're not dying or anything, but I can definitely see the difference in the luster of their leaves now in the colder weather as compared to spring and summer, the growing season. So it's just a matter of moving them around, seeing if they're happy. I'm gonna keep an eye on them in the space of the next couple of weeks and see if any of them are unhappy with their new spots. The biggest thing I added in this space is that gold stand at the corner there next to my Monstera. I just thought I needed a little bit more space to put things on that are actually closer to the humidifier and closer to the window. So hopefully they do okay. The only thing I'm really kind of worried about is my Tenanthi here. So in this corner I've put that Tenanthi there. It was originally here standing in the center but now it's here and I'm just going to keep a close eye on that because it is actually close to the window so while it does have light it's also closer to like a cold window pane and I know it's an anthem there is a chance it won't respond super well to that space there so I'm gonna keep close eye on her it does have humidity so that's good um, so I'm just yeah gonna keep an eye on it and see if it's happy this gold stand here, I actually had it sitting in the spare room empty for ages and I didn't quite know what to do with it, but I kind of like it there. That's pretty cool, hey? I've put Elocacia close to the humidifier. I've moved my Orbifolias down here closer to the humidifier as well. Hopefully they won't suffer too much closer to the window. It does have light, but it doesn't have as much warmth. So there's kind of that 
you know, up and pros and cons there with the plants. This tanaki, it was originally in the corner there and now I've got it here. It'll probably be happier here because it's got more direct contact to the sun or the light from outside. And then over here, I moved my lemon lime uh, ficus. And I left my Audrey right there. All right, on the shelf, I left my ficus up the top there because they seem to do really happy and these are plants that I don't want to risk them being unhappy. I would much rather keep these ones alive over my whole entire collection. They do have sentimental value to me, these two here. So moving right along, the devil's ivy, I didn't move anywhere else. That's where it was originally and I kind of left it there. It's just kind of like that little bit too big that I didn't really know where else to put it. So she can stay there. Um, Alocasia is happy here. It's got the humidity from down there and then it's got the warmth from the heater there, but it doesn't have as much light. So I'm hoping if I can give them at least two out of three, then they'll be okay. On the bottom shelf there, I have more lower light tolerant plants, which are my Syngonium, Hoya, Homolomina, Wandering Jew, and one little Peperomia down the end there. It's just a matter of mixing and matching care needs as opposed to what I'm actually available to provide them at the moment considering the current climate winter. I don't like it at all. <laughs> anyway, so this is what I've ended up with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!